We just have the great messianic vision of the 11th chapter of Yeshaya, the lion lying with the lamb, and the leopard with the kid, and everything is going to be perfect. And that's where we continue today with more uh, a, a continuation uh, of this beautiful prophecy. Vamarta bayomahu. And on that day, you're going to say, O dechadonai ki anaftabi. I give thanks, I give my gratitude to God, even though you were angry at me. Yashov Your wrath has turned back and you comforted me. And this is an interesting idea, theologically, where we, we talk about God, right? The, we talk about God not just being the one who is redeeming Israel, but we acknowledge that God was also the one who caused many problems for B'nai Israel, or allowed those problems, allowed the Assyrians to come and destroy us, as Yeshaya has spoken about. Now, you could argue that God allowed that because, uh, because of our bad behavior. But here, Yeshaya is not, Yeshaya is not um, hiding away from the idea that God is not only the one who's granting goodness to Israel, but also caused them to suffer. And here we have uh, two famous verses, Hinei el Yeshua tiev tach below echad. Behold, God who gives me Triumph, I am confident, I am unafraid. Because God, yud is my strength and might and has been my deliverance. The word Zimra here, Zemra, we usually think is a, a song, me wrote on Shabbat, but here the word Zimra is related to, uh, according to many, the idea of strength. Right? God is my strength. God is the one who's helping and providing for me. And joyfully you shall draw water from the fountains of, uh, of, of triumph. Of course, we say this in Havdalah. The idea is we go into the week as we're, we're starting the week that God is still my strength and my might. I can make it through the week. I don't have to worry about the troubles, the, my boss, whomever it might be. Uh, we have the, the strength that God has given to us. And we'll say on that day, has kiru kineskav shemo. Praise God. Proclaim the divine name. Make God's deeds known amongst the people. Declare that God is exalted. At least some of that. Hodul Hashem kiru b'shemo. Diabem melilotav is also those same words in Tehillim. Zamru Adonai ki geut asa muda'at zot b'chol ha'aretz. A song for God. So here Zamru, according to many, doesn't mean as it meant similar to the earlier strength or might, but, but sing a song to God. Because he has done gloriously, let this be known in all the world. Sahali Veroni Yoshevet Zion, shout for joy, those who dwell in Zion. Kigadol Bekirbech Kedosh Israel, for what is great in your midst, the Holy One in Israel. That is what is great in your midst is God, and therefore let it be known. This is sort of uh, we can joke around that this is more like a uh, a chapter for the evangelicals and for the Jews. Right, we don't necessarily we don't really go around, uh, you know, talking about uh, how great God is in our midst and how wonderful things are, and singing songs publicly. I mean, maybe Chabad does it a little bit, maybe the the Breslov or Hasidim do it a little bit, but we uh, generally don't have people who uh, who travel down to Africa to missionize and let everybody know about what's going on in these different places. Uh, but uh, maybe when we have the messianic vision that was given to us in chapter twelve. And we'll continue with the ideas here in chapter 13 and be maybe a little bit more proactive in our singing the praises of God publicly.